Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a fun STEAM activity. I'm gonna leave the file for you in the comments section of this video. That way you can print your flowers out that you're gonna use for this activity. So, in the file you're gonna have two flowers that you can cut out. I've already cut mine out. I just printed these out on cardstock to give us some colorful flowers. And what we're going to do is fold the flowers into the center. And I will show you what step comes next. So, as we're folding them, we can try different ways out. So for this first one, I'm gonna fold really tight folds. I'm gonna press down really hard. And for the next one, I'm gonna do light folds where I don't press down as hard. And that way, when we're experimenting in a second with our water, we can see which ones work better. So this one I'm folding just a little bit, not as hard, just gentle folds. And this I use just printer copy paper and this is cardstock. So we might see some differences in our experiment. This one I'm folding kind of middle ways and we will see. So this experiment is we're gonna fold these and then we're gonna put them in water and watch our flowers bloom. That's why this experiment is called blooming flowers. So let's try putting the two copier paper flowers in first. I've got one that I folded really tight and one that I folded kind of gently. We're gonna stick them in the water. You notice they float. And if we give it a second, our flowers are going to begin blooming. Look at this. So we've got a few petals started. The one we folded a little bit more gently and not as tight is opening up quite a bit. Let's move this one out a little bit so it's not stuck on the side. I'm still opening up. The one we folded kind of tightly is kind of getting stuck. Let's see if we can help it out a little bit. Maybe open some of these up. I'm thinking the one that we didn't fold as tightly is working a little bit better. It's still going. All the petals are stretching out. Which one did you think was going to open up faster? That's the fun with experiments. You can test and see which ones work best. And it might matter how I cut each flower. Maybe I cut this one a little bit deeper on the petals than the other one. Okay, let's now try the cardstock. Let's put this in the water see how it goes. Is the cardstock even going to work? Let's put this one in there as well. Well, this one's opening up a little bit. I followed this one a little bit more tighter than this one, so we're seeing similar things that happen to our copier. Oh, this one's coming out. The water makes the paper expand a little bit and that's what's stretching out. We did a toothpick experiment a few weeks ago and something similar happened. We added water to some toothpicks and the wood expanded and caused the toothpicks to stretch and they turned into a star. So as these are continuing to open up, think about how you're going to do your experiment. We would love to hear how your experiment worked or didn't work. And we would love to see pictures of your blooming flowers, especially for spring. And we will see you next time.